Craig, often over the past uh, couple of years, two years now, well, it would be you, me, and Doug Weed, the great historian. Uh, we lost him. He died uh, about a week ago, uh, a stroke, I believe. He was just 75 years old, great guy, uh, confidant of several presidents. And um, I want to just play a moment uh, so we can all remember what he sounded like and his nature. I think it comes through right here. They not only want to shut him up, they want to put him in jail. Uh, this is very close to Putin uh, killing, murdering his political opponents. We do it our way through the media and big tech. Look at what we've done in a hundred days. Look at what we've done. And of course, you know, Greg, he, he said there was no vaccine until I became president. Just you, you don't call it a lie because with Joe, you know, there's something wrong with him. Well, he was a great man, Doug Weed. And you see, he Craig, he always kind of got a kick out of history as he was talking. You know what I mean? Out of what he was seeing. He got a kick out of things. Absolutely. Absolutely. He, he got a kick out of life and he got a kick out of history. And he wrote so many good books uh, and is really the leading expert on the on, He mined an area that had not been uh, mined before, which was presidential children. Which And he wrote several books on presidential children from John Adams all the way to Theodore Roosevelt. And so he went after an area that nobody had ever explored before, and he was quite the master at it. Uh, he was such a good guy. He was such a friendly guy. Uh, it, it, I, I, I mourn. And, you know, the one thing, too, Greg, is that there are lots of historians on the left. There's Doris Kearns Goodwin and John Meacham and Doug Brinkley and other leftist historians. And there's so few of us on the right, you know, Paul Johnson— and Doug yeah. and myself, but you know that now we're now we're, we've left a big hole there, unfortunately, of uh, people who want to tell the truth about American history and not succumb to this nonsense like 1619 project. Well, we're we're very fortunate to have had Doug's contributions both in writing and on this show. We will miss Doug Weed, a great man, passed away December 10th at the age of 75. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.